welcome to Reading by Rada's channel. Oh shit, the door's open in the back. This is going well. <laughs> Hi guys, this is Rada from Radiant by Rada. This is Jessica from Jessica Hoban Photography. Hi. We're getting together today to film this look. Yay. So, fall inspired makeup. I am not a makeup artist. I'm a super beginner at makeup. So, <laughs> she is telling me how to get this look and then she's doing this look on herself for all of you darker skin beauties out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We got the pale and the non-pale put together, so you guys can have an idea that it's fall makeup and it doesn't matter what skin tone you are, you can do the makeup nonetheless. I am the makeup artist, yes, but she's the person who photographs all of that stuff. So we need to do something that makes sense. And here we're doing it for you. Want to see how we did these looks? Then just keep watching. Some micellar water to like, basically, you're, what you're doing is cleaning, so you see, stuff comes off. You might have something on it. Maybe. You yeah. Can be a dirty person. <laughs> wow. But as pale as you are, I would think you'd see dirt on your face. <laughs> Unlike me, but whatever. <laughs> White girl problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the other thing it does is basically puts back, because as it cleans, it also puts back some of the moisture into your skin. It's dirty. That's how much is that one? Oh, look at this. Ooh, you hold it up. Oh, yeah. that's gross. <laughs> You're disgusting. Okay. <laughs> okay. Alright. So you're gonna let this dry out a little bit. These chairs are really okay. squeaky. <laughs> well, all you can hear is just They squeaking. are. Okay. So this is primer. Okay. I use my hands for primer. I don't know if you like to use anything else, but I find that using your hands for primer gives you a better feel of your skin. Um, as well as also helps your oils in your skin to make it nice and natural. Instead of like a, this is not my face, it's porcelain look. Oh. Do you want to start like, do you just do everywhere? Um, basically if you want, if you have like a oily zone area. So this one is kind of cool because it has a bit of purple pink hue to it. This is from Revlon guys. I, I haven't seen them make this in a while now, but I love this. I, I hope it comes back in something. But this color corrects as well as primes. Okay. So you got like you got a little bit of purple in it and brightens your skin a little bit. Okay. I don't know if you see a difference, but <laughs> I always see it in mine. All right. So one more thing I want to add to this is my favorite products, it's the Skinnavia products. These guys are are pretty amazing at what they do. I know there's a lot of primers and and a lot of uh, setting sprays that are out in the market, but these like. Honestly, I find that I have used a bunch and I'm in love with this. So the yeah, so the the, the and it's basically oil free, paraben free, right? So you're you're not spraying any. You know what those what those finishing sprays have in them? Like they're technical. Alcohol? Yes, because it's like hairspray and water and maybe an essential oil in there. That's that's literally what it is. So after we do this, give it a little bit of spritz. Oh, you do it first. Yes, as a primer. Oh, that one's finishing spray. That one's primer spray. I see, I see. Yes. Okay. So hold, don't, don't, eat, make it. don't eat it. Ah, it's so pretty. <laughs> Did I get it on YouTube? Doesn't matter. It goes everywhere. That's just the spray so it work. Power. So actually my spray bottle broke, so I had to change the... That's why it's gray. Oh, Technically it's all black. I see. Yeah. So. so creative. Yeah. All right. So we're going to head right into it. So foundation. No, you're going to do... My pale girl foundation. Well, you're gonna do. Are you gonna? Oh, correct? I'm gonna color correct. First. Yes, correct first. So you got your. Is it this one? Yeah, this one. So spot correction is what you're doing, and I'm gonna just take out some of the dullness around my eyes and mouth. You so have dullness, and I have. Yeah. Acne. So most South Asian skins, like we have a lot of dark areas, and they generally are around your nose, your mouth, and like the eye area. So. If the foundation is very, um, is not a medium or light or medium, it's actually medium to a full coverage foundation, then we don't need to do this. Um, but if you want to have that flawless kind of skin color, then it's important to actually put a little bit of corrector there. You don't have to do too much. And if you don't like correctors, don't, don't worry. But it's just something that helps to bring it all together. Yeah, my problems are acne and under eye circles. You just broke up. Like, I haven't seen you breaking up like this I before. I know. It's because I had the straight across bangs. 
Oh, yeah. It just like destroyed my forehead skin, but you couldn't see it because I had the bangs. But that's what it does because it's the it's the stuff from your hair, right? Yeah, the oil from my hair. And it's also like, you know, you get it, you always get like skin flakes in your hair no matter what, like even if your hair is very healthy. And when they fall on your face, that's what they do too. Um, do I do this under my eyes? Yeah. Oh, okay. The green? Yeah, okay. A little bit of green and then we'll, we'll do the pink correction on it. Because you kind of need like a peachy tone for you. I, I need like, I can do the orange on you and then it'll be really fun. Then we'd be doing a Halloween. <laughs> this is how we do a fall Halloween look. <laughs> do you want to do a fall? You wow. do? Fall shoot. That'd be fun. I think it's too late now. Oh, guys, like Jessica is actually an amazing photographer. Why did I not say that before? Jessica Holman Photography. She is my favorite. That's why she's here more than anything else. But check her out. She has a YouTube channel. Uh, what's your YouTube channel? Jessica Holman. It is, right? Yeah. So it's photography. Jessica, same. Same as the channel and same as her Instagram is the same. And uh, she has a website. Check it out, guys. You would enjoy that. Just so you know. Okay. Oh, and then gotta plug in a friend, man. <laughs> Which one again? So this one. So lightly touch it. Um, I love this palette. Does anybody have this palette? Um, it's called a. Uh, the it's a cheek and lip palette, but it's called How About Dem Evels. It's from the Bomb, and I absolutely love it. It's actually a pretty good one. So I'm putting this over top of the green. To yes. It. So now we're kind of concealing. The concealer. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. Good concealer, concealer. I don't know. Um, so while Jess is doing her correction with sort of a peachy, so I we needed to conceal the green before we hit the foundation, and we're doing a more peach tone with her because if we do, or more of a neutral sort of a nude tone, because if we do any other color, it might be too bright for her face, and then we need a lot of foundation coverage to actually cover it. I don't believe in putting too much foundation if you don't need to. Go all out if you love that cake face. I do that all the time when I need to, but not for like a cake nice face. fall look. Like you don't want to go walking around cake face unless you do like that kind of stuff. No, I, I wear like no makeup. There, she wears no makeup. So Jess is gonna apply one foundation all over her face. I'm not one color all over my face, and instead of color correcting with a bunch of concealers, um, I actually use a darker foundation in my darker areas and a lighter foundation in my lighter areas, and kind of highlights and, and contours at the same time too, so you'll see. And I use my hand, guys, I'm sorry. That's kind of what I do. I will use a brush, I don't rub it in my hands, but... Do you use a palette when you do other people's makeup? Do I use what? A palette? I find that, like the warmth of your hand makes the product like blend a lot better. So if you're if you're if you're not using a sort of a liquid foundation, mm -hmm. um, you kind of should scoop it out and put it on your on your palm or like whatever the back of your hand, mm -hmm. uh, because it does warm up the foundation mm -hmm. to be more usable. Um, but I have to say, like if you're using the foundation sticks, like Anastasia Beverly Hills has come out with these foundations. I think you should check them out. My goodness, they're very good. And it's um, because you like Alme because of your uh, sensitive skin. Mm -hmm. um, Anastasia stuff is also okay to be used on sensitive skin. Is it? So if, if you want to try it, like it's a, it's a good way to go. Um, you can't use matte, it breaks me out. Yeah, it's probably the amount of mica in it. Uh, outfitters. It's some kind of outfitters. Oh, home outfitters. Oh, okay. See? Told ya. Well, don't buy them because they're squeaky. <laughs> no, they, they like, no. I can think that they, okay. they just like turn on their own. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna. They have a mind of their own. <laughs> that is you. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna use this mirror to. Yeah, I need a closer see mirror. See what I'm doing. Uh huh. Go for it. I wish I had one of those fancy mirrors that everybody has on YouTube, like Dior, something or the other. I don't know how they get it so close. Oh, they must have a wide angle lens. No, you actually hold a mirror in front of your face. Like, oh! Yeah, you know those nice mirrors? So you look a bit more classy doing this? <laughs> oh, I'm highlighting. Oh, okay. I'll hurry up. No, you don't have to hurry up. I'm just I think I'm done. I look very pretty. There's still some, like, showing through, but. Yeah, so when you highlight. Oh, dude, that. It'll cover okay. it. Yeah. 
So we're using the same brush? You can, actually, for sure. Or you can use a stipple brush, because when you're stippling it in, it'll put the product in. Or you can use a thick brush. So the only thing with a thicker brush is that sometimes when you when you wipe, sort of, wipe the stuff it underneath. wipes what's underneath. Okay, so you, you don't want to do that. And yeah, I think that's better. In the middle? Yeah. And this is from BH Cosmetics. So this is a this is a nice palette to have, actually. Did you put oil in here? Um, I put a little bit of, you know what I use? I love using it. It's the Inglot Duraline. So oh. instead of like making an oil base for it, it's, it's I don't really know it, like how it works so well because it actually dries right off and it's waterproof. Cool. So it won't slide off your face and it dries on, on what's wrong? I don't want the extra makeup puff back in my hand. I'm not sure. So this, I use this more than oils. Everybody, a lot of people use oils, but I'm oily. Right. I don't want oil on my face to shine, so. So currently I'm thinking about where's the brush that I need to use to... Do I have it? No, I'll just use this one too. That's a little bit. For like a deep contour, I sometimes use, uh, like I was telling you about the I, uh, the foundation sticks from uh, Anastasia. Mm -hmm. Those I can use. Sometimes I use those too, and they're pretty good. And like a palette like yours is also very good to use. I have another one which is darker. I'm gonna use that for my contour just to deepen it a little bit. I, it's already there because I use the two foundation colors. But since we're going all out, might as well. Is that the brush you were using? This is the one that I used first, and then I used this stippling brush, yeah. but I like this one better. So I you do back. like this one better? Yeah. These two. So you're mi try this to see how it shows. That that brush is gonna be big for contouring. Okay. Yeah. So we have to go with this stipple for now, and then make that line. And then when you're actually buffing it into your skin, you can use that one. Again. Okay. But if it has your foundation or the highlighter on it, it's gonna lighten your contour because it's already got that product on it. It does, but that's probably a good thing because it's really dark. Is it still dark? So we're like this. Yeah. It's not that dark, but that's good. That's actually perfect for you. So you can also do this. Fishy. Mm -hmm. And then it kind of gives the dent. So it's basically the bone, right? Your cheekbone, like mm -hmm. where the high point of your cheek and then the low point of your cheekbone, that's where your contour goes. And if you want to look like um, healthier and, and a bit bigger cheek, <laughs> if you wanted to, like you curve it. Work. You curve it like this. Oh, so oops. if you want to do that. But if you don't, if you want to look like really like a, it's like a sleigh contour, then you go straight down. Okay. So it just depends on how you want to do it. And then you also want to contour the temples right here. Oh. And you want to contour some of this area so that it has, it looks like you're sun-kissed. Sun-kissed. Right? Which you kind of need. <laughs> just a little. Okay, I'm not going to bother with this like my fangs are there. I'm worried about getting my, okay, let's go like this. Stipple it. There you go. That's what this stipple. When in doubt, stipple. When in doubt, stipple. You got that. Okay. So I did one highlight, and I'm gonna add a, another little color because this is the it's the yellow one for me. It's like a color corrector, but I also use it for highlighting because that's what it does. So that the skin has a little bit of highlight, a little bit more. I do two things. Sometimes I use a, a brighter highlight if I want it to really pop out. 
like a highlight color for the highlighting zones. Um, and sometimes I use the same color as my, like maybe two shades, you know, brighter. Um, if I use a really, really highlighting color, then the powder that I put on it is sort of the mid-range. But if I use a mid-range highlight, then I use a brighter powder. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. So, oh yeah, you know, you could also use this palette for, um, to add a little bit of cheek color to you. Here, let me show up. I'll use this one. This one here. You have a cheek color pick up. Do you powder first? So, for this, I oh, would do... Oh, it's gel. Like, this is just this. So, I am... Oh, sorry for the finger. <laughs> Oops. But this... Basically what it does is like all the cream products that you have on your face mm -hmm. and when you use your finger to do this It just becomes one Okay, part of you Which for you. Reason? You're you're not you can use this one. Yeah, I think the orange because we're going more fall so Okay, so now I'm gonna powder my highlighted zones Oh Oh, you took a lot <laughs> That's okay Um just use the rest of it on your other cheek first. It's okay. It'll still go into your skin because okay. because of the way the product is. Okay. So keep tap dabbing that one now because now your skin your finger is clean. <laughs> oh, you'll just have one nice Pennywise cheek. Oops. Oh, it looks nice though. We still have to powder, so we can still cover that. Okay. See, there is really no mistakes in makeup. Unless instead of lighting your eyelid, you're lighting your eyebrow. I don't know. Yeah. Other than that, like there's hardly anything there's hardly anything that you can't fix. Like even even if you have like the full face of makeup, the only thing you have to do for you specifically is when you're using dark products, like if you use a liner or an eyeshadow that's really dark and it has fallout on your cheek, like clear mm -hmm. it right away. Now what? So highlighting powder. So all the zones that you highlighted, now you're going to powder them. With the lighter one. Oops. With the powder. Yeah, that, this one. that one. Oh, now it's on the floor. Okay. <laughs> and that's life, guys. This, flatten it like this, tap it, get the excess off, and then you press. Press as, as hard as you can so that the product actually goes right into the previous product that's in there and it locks it into place. So I'm using the MAC Studio Fix NC41, which is one shade lighter than my shade, which is NC42, because I'm not trying to go to a party right now. And I'm using... This is Maybelline. The palest thing that she had in her makeup kit. It's actually... It, you know what it is? It's translucent. Mm -hmm. But it's, its coverage is very good. So it's, uh, it's the Stay Matte Powder. By Revlon? By... Revlon. Maybelline? Revlon. Is it Rimmel? Did you break it? You broke it. I don't even know. I Rimmel. Think it's... Oh, it's Rimmel. Sorry, guys. It's Rimmel. Oops. Oh, yeah. Ah. Yeah, we guys, we, we got featured on uh, the Rimmel page. Yeah, they didn't credit us, though. So. No, but our friend whose face is on it credited us. Yeah. Or Thanks, Victoria. Our model friend. Shout out. Shout out. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's a weird laugh. Uh -huh. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> uh, Victoria. <laughs> guys, there's a reason I'm behind the camera. <laughs> That's not true. She was actually a model. Oh. She doesn't model anymore, but she was a model. I like chips too much. She could totally go back into modeling. Like, I don't see why not. I like chips <laughs> too much. I guess. So, okay, that's it? Just the areas highlighted that highlighted? You highlighted? Yes. That's it, okay. Yeah. You got, did you not highlight your upper lip? Mm-mm. Because -mm. okay, well. it makes my mustache. <laughs> <laughs> Should I? Well, powder it. Why not? Like this. <laughs> okay. All right. Now you're going to deepen the contour on your and this, this that you're using. So Jess is gonna have to use my foundation powder, Studio Fix NC42, for her contour color because the difference. <laughs> there you go. Same brush. Um. No. Actually, you should use. Um. Oh. We never thought about the brush, but it's this one. It's like the angled contour brush, and it's a little bit more fluffy than the other brush, so you don't need to take a lot of product. Like, swipe it once, and then sh actually tap it. 
a little bit more. Yeah. And then wherever you're going to touch the brush first is where it's going to be the darkest. There you go. So I am contouring with my Urban Decay Naked Flushed Brush, two-sided. It's uh, very dense, so it actually holds the product well in. And then you can stipple it, you can, if you don't want too dark a contour, you can sort of, you know, just, I don't know what I'm doing, rubbing it, you know, something like that. I feel like I'm going a bit darker so that you can actually see it on camera. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just go, dark. go dark. But you see the difference? You can see, actually see your cheekbone light up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you only put a lot just right here. Blend it up. I can blend it out. There. <laughs> yeah, blend it out with that one. And it's okay that it has some other product on it too because then it'll also take care of some of the extra darkness that you've got going there if you do any. But you don't. You're doing so well, Jess. <laughs> My first student, guys. Yeah, it's just she picked out all of the colors and is telling me what to do. I'm sure that was clear. But I'm loving this. <laughs> You're doing such a great job. It's amazing. Okay. All right. So we're done with this. So the next thing is uh, you did the powder highlight, powder contour. Now we're going to go into our color for the cheek with a powder. So we already did sort of the, you can see it, mine's kind of gone, but you can still see yours. So mm -hmm. now you want to touch it very lightly with the powder to keep, so anything that you use as a cream has to be set with the powder. Whether it is contouring, whether it is cheek colors, whether it is eyes, whatever it is that you're using cream with, you have to uh, make sure that it's locked into place, otherwise it runs. Okay. And you don't want it to run. So what you here's, here's your cheek powder. So this is a, it's one of the orangey colors that I want you to use today. You're wearing red though. Yeah, see this one. Because this is kind of where... And these are the e.l.f. palettes. These are so cool. See? Like the, the e.l.f. So blush palettes. There's glitter in there. And you don't want glitter? No. So, okay. I'm going to give you a neat trick, which is very cool. Yeah, if you don't want... Yes. If you don't want anything glittery or shiny, you can easily use uh, an eyeshadow palette to make your colors pop. Instead of this one though, this has got some glitter in it too. I'll give you this one. Marfi, doo -doo -doo. it's the 35C palette. Whoa. So this is all of the eye colors, guys. You can take this and dab a brush in it and use it as cheek color as well. If you don't, if you want matte colors, this is matte. Um, sometimes, sometimes the uh, the kits that have blushes in them, they don't all come in matte. So yeah. you can do this one, which I think would be a good color for you. Yeah, so it won't be like crazy orange. You know what I mean? Oh, so, oh wrong brush. <laughs> Which brush? Here, you can use it. This one. The, the smaller one. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I love that brush. Naked. <laughs> yeah, cool. <huh? laughs> so, there is that fluffy brush too that we can use if you want to. But I'm just saying that that's a good one for placement. Okay. So remember, wherever you first put your brush is where the darkest the color is going to be. I don't really know. I maybe I'll do this crazy burnt orange. I'm trying not to break anything else. get color on my face you. and there's color <laughs> I have to work for it yeah and I have to actually for some reason there's a song in my head you need to sing it you would really laugh if I sing it is that I'm here for the cake <laughs> I'm always here for the cake 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 cake
Follow your heart and your brain will take you there. What? It says follow your heart but take your brain with you. Oh shit. <laughs> Your contour, my face. Thank you. My face. <laughs> I'm gonna clean my brush. Yeah. Ooh, I have an amazing cleaner. It's actually right there in the blue bottle. Oh. Cinema Secrets, guys. Cinema Secrets. Oh, I don't have the bottle in my chair. She made it. Cinema Secrets will have, it has this amazing uh, product. I'm actually gonna pull it out. Um, I got it from Sephora. And it came in a bottle like this, but if you shop in the U.S., you can actually get like spray bottles and stuff, so which is kind of. Is that where you got this one? This I got from Sephora. Oh, you here. just deep this? It yeah, in. I just yeah, sure. Deep bottled it is what you said, or deep potted it is. I don't know. Whatever. Um, amazing, amazing because what happens is look. So you wow, see perfect. exactly, and it's dry. Yeah. So the other thing with brushes is when you clean them, they're they're not, and this is a good way to clean them. And then when after you've done this kind of cleaning, then you can actually go out and I'll wash them all if you're not using them. But that's the best way to do it right now. All right, so face powder. I look like I'm like. I didn't red. contour my nose. I Why didn't you contour? Con contour your nose. Love me. Let's wipe it So you need a thinner brush for the contouring yeah. of your nose. It's more like, it's like this. Mm -hmm. Baby one and, and your contour. Yeah, I didn't contour mine either, but I mean, I could. I all you can also. I'm gonna contour with eyeshadow. Okay, I'm gonna contour with this, and I'm gonna contour with eyeshadow. How's that? How them apples? And then I'm gonna put a little bit of highlight on there. And I'm gonna shine bright like a diamond. Is that the song you had on your head? No. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was Get Your Freak On. <laughs> told you you'd laugh at me if I told you what I had in my head. Get Your Freak On. Get your freak. Is it Missy Elliott? I think it is. I think so. Mm -hmm. After everything is done and we re-blend everything, you'll see everything is in place again. Okay. Yeah. Anytime you feel something's too light, you can darken it. Every time you think something's too dark, you can lighten it. Like I said, there's hardly ever mistakes. Hashtag no rules. And no mistakes. When it comes to makeup. No rules. Honestly, makeup doesn't no, there have are any rules. rules. There are rules. Okay. Okay, be hygienic. That's like the only rule. Only rule. Okay. Okay, honestly. Hashtag one rule. <laughs> and eyeliner goes on eyes. I mean, now these days it doesn't still. Sometimes I've we you line lips line with face. glitter eyeliner, so. Yep, that's oh right. Okay, so now we're gonna go into uh, do a little bit of highlight, like the actual shiny stuff. Glitter. So not really glitter, glitter, but you have Asante, don't you, for highlighting mm -hmm. your cheek? It's right here. I think. Is yes, the one. This so, is the one product of my own that I'm using. So Jess is actually using Vasanti Cosmetics, which is a Canadian-based uh, out of Toronto uh, oh. cosmetics. One of our friends is a, an ambassador for them as well. Her name is Sharon Philippos. Check her out if you want to. Shout out, Sharon! <laughs> <laughs> she, yeah. Um, and she loves this stuff, and this stuff is made very, very well. And it's um, vegan. Vegan, guys! Yeah. I don't know if any of you are vegan out there. Maybe not today, but tomorrow when I have a better following, I might have some weekends in there. Who's doing it? Ooh. Fan brush. Ooh. Fan moments. <laughs> so, either you can use the fan brushes or... How do you use this? Okay, like so just kind of no. fan. Cheekbone fan. That's what that is. Okay, or you can use sort of a semi-flat brush. This one is from Lorac. Oh, this actually came with my uh, Lorac um, contour palette um, that came in my Fab Fit Fun box. Oh yeah, I like that box. Um, and the only thing is that they're for me. I think it would be very. Ooh, look at this. This is Anastasia, guys, that I'm using. I am in love, love. I'm also in love with Becca. And I dropped it. Oh no, that's the worst. It made me so sad. So the Anastasia Glow Kit, that glow, um, 
has the color bubbly and dripping gold that are sim very similar to the Becca Opal. The only difference with this is that the Becca Opal is actually a bit more iridescent, I find. So sometimes for whoever would like to do the highlighting but not a crazy highlight, like to the moon kind of highlight, you could do like you could do the Anastasia ones and if you like the to the moon kind of highlight then Opal is very good. Champagne Pop is the one that I loved, by the way. That's my color. The Vasanti one is like, it can be really subtle and it also can be. Look crazy. at that! That looks amazing! I like this one, this side. I think you just can't see the other Oh, maybe not. They're the same. No, it's lighter. Don't know how I did that. Okay, there. It's better now. So, yeah. yeah this good. one is nice because you can build it. Yeah, that's cool. Let me check the darker one. This might be more my color. Yeah, there's two colors in this one. So, highlight can also go up to your temple mm -hmm. and around your eyebrow. So, if you really want that. Also, down your nose, right? I'm dripping gold look. Down your nose, or there's two ways of doing it. So, noses, nose contouring and nose highlighting is depending on how, how your nose is. So, if your nose is already thin, then you don't want to do the contour, you just want to do the highlight. If your nose is not very thin, you want to touch the highlight in places where you want to show it. So, like the tip of the nose, if your <laughs> tip is very small. Or like right here somewhere, if you can't see if this is sort of in inset nose, um, that it comes to like the African American girls have the inset nose, mm -hmm. and then if you highlight right here, then the nose pops right up. It looks really cool. All right, highlighting is done. Good. Are we gonna move to the eyes now? Eyebrows. You gonna do the eyebrows first? I have to do the eyebrows in the end, but let's do the eyebrows first. I do the eyebrows first thing usually because I'm missing half of it. Oh, like see, I have like half an eyebrow missing. Well, we can do the eyebrows first. Do you use Anastasia too? Mm -hmm. Aha! Love it, love it, love it. I do as well. So I actually use three products. Whoa! I'll tell you why. Um, this product is the Brow Wiz that we all love. I have it too. We all use it. Are you using the same color? No, you're I'm using. You yeah. can't. How can you use my color? I'll burn. And dark brown. Okay. Um, and then there is the 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 Anastasia Highlighting Duo Pencil, um, which actually has a really nice tone that kind of cleans. So you know how a lot of girls do, you see it a lot of makeup artists also do it. They kind of go the concealer way and then conceal underneath their eyebrow. With this, you don't have to do that. Oh. So you could just, instead of going into a concealer, this actually, this color here, will do it for you, right? So it's pretty neat. Um, and then I use a gel in the end. Okay. So these are all on all all brow products are Anastasia guys. Um, I have to get my hands on all of the uh, benefit stuff oh. because it's actually really good. Um, I don't know why, but nobody makes like actual red eyebrow stuff. Why not? No one. You know what you can also this do. This is the only. This is the closest one to actually being Auburn. The rest are like Auburn, but it's like. It's barely even warm brown. You can also, again, use a little bit of eyeshadow. Yeah. If you don't or do already. You're pulling a me. I'm pulling a jab. <laughs> I was just going to say. <laughs> you know, seasoned so YouTubers actually go down a little and then look like this so you used to be oh, able yeah. to see yourselves. You know, but we're not that smart. Underneath I eyebrows. I am. Well. Okay, you're hogging it. <laughs> Take it! Jeez! Well, oh, and I'm not like crazy about angled brushes when you're doing this, so I'm using the fluffiest possible brush to have. Here's the lid. To like blend it out because I'm gonna do the gel on it, it'll be fine. You can use this too. I'm gonna use my new my cleaner. Oh, yeah, you can use that actually. Perfect. You can also, like the Pro Conceal uh, ones can also be used to do this. Um, a lot of makeup artists do it. It actually works really well. I like the way it goes, but I also love my Anastasia products. And for my first ever video, I wanted to use them. Okay, so I'm going to tell everybody about this beautiful palette. I went to MAC and I created myself a fall palette. I absolutely love it, guys. Like, love it, love it, love it. These are just amazing colors. Um, and I really like that I can see them. Mm. 
<laughs> yeah, <they're, laughs> they're good um, and uh, I just and also the fact that I could create my own palette and I was I was really happy about that so and I love these colors so I'm gonna use these <laughs> Jess is gonna use another one of my favorite palettes um, I'm sorry I'm like totally name dropping and branding like, all of my stuff but I actually genuinely I'm in love with this stuff and this is the Anastasia more Mo modern Renaissance palette She's come out with two more uh, after this, and uh, I still haven't gotten my hands on them yet. So this goes on the brow bone. Brow bone. This goes here. In the crease, yeah. And then this underneath. Yep. And then deep in the crease with this one. Yes, and then sort of drag it into the rest of your eyelid. Okay. Okay? And I'm going to be... So I actually don't know the names of these colors, which is very these sad. These are really soft. Um, okay. I like... Yes. Yes. Wow. Very little. Whoops. That's okay. You'll reuse it anyway. Um, and uh, yes, there you go. So for building color. Oh, I forgot to prime. Oh, my oh you didn't prime your eyeballs? I didn't prime mine either, but I have put foundation in there, but now that you're reminding me, I'm going to use the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Potion. Same what are you thing. using? Oh, oh, cool. But mine is like uh, tinted. Yeah, but oh, is it? Mm hmm. Oh, it's. Lighter. Because my eyelids are really red. Oh. Oh, there you go. So it kind of like hides them. So right this there. one actually came with uh, um, one of the, uh, I think I think this one came with my um, Naked palette. Ah. And I've been using it very sparingly because I really like it. And remember what I said, every time you use a cream product. Yeah, to set it. You have to set it. If you don't set it, it'll run. So you can use that lighter eyeshadow all over your eyelid to set it if you want. What I also do is, you know the powder that I use for highlight? Mm -hmm. I use the same brush and I just pat it. All over my lid. And I take my Rose Gold 231 Crease Brush from Zoeva. Dab it into this orange right here, and I'm going to go into my creams. And this is called the windshield wiper moment, or movement, and that's what the manna calls it. Undress your face. Do you know I went to New York to see her? You did? When? That was amazing. Like three years ago, before I decided I was going to do makeup. Oh. blending 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 guys okay blending is about how you hold your brush too so if you want to lay product you hold your brush flat and you lay product if you want to kind of do a base like what you're doing so the wind windshield wiper motion and if you lift your arm up and you let this the edges or the or the top part of your brush touch your crease between two colors it actually blends and you don't have to go 20 minutes blending your eye makeup. Do you see what I mean? So to blend this orange, if you wanted to blend this into your upper thing, you just lift up your brush that way and then just blend it. And that's it. Because of the fibers of the brush are shorter and longer, see, just blend it, simply, right? And that is a pretty neat trick, by the way. So you don't have to like, 
So you're not going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth between the colors and like putting in 20 minutes in blending. The areas that you don't have a lot of eyeshadow, so basically the inner, the inner corner into the mid mm -hmm. lid. Just like stick it down. Yeah, or you can tap it, whatever you want to do. And then how do you blend it? And then you use your finger. Always use your finger for glitter, especially like cream glitters, because it's so much easier and so much better to get them to do what you want them to do if you do your And it dries out really quick. A photographer's biggest nightmare is glitter that falls everywhere on the face. Oh, that's right. Because then when you flash and take a picture, it actually it shines. Like shines and you're places. like, where? Why is there glitter on her in her mustache? Because that's always where it ends up. I like these colors. They make my eyes look a lot more green. That's right, because these colors pull out the green in your eyes. That's that's the idea of the oranges, right? That's what the oranges do. Okay. Now you're gonna now I'm gonna ruin it all with eyeliner. And you're gonna do eyeliner. That's your next step. I'm gonna destroy it though. Oh, yeah. So you get a bobby pin and I'm you take the. Sorry. Destroy my bobby pin, please. Go for it. You take the rubber piece off with your teeth. Because it's a cool hack. Yeah. And then you just put your eyeliner. I'm gonna get close to the mirror. I line it up with the other eye. Eyebrow. Anyways, it just gives you a guide and then you fill it in. Fill it in now. Because it does give you a guide. Mm -hmm. Lashes. <laughs> this is where we destroy all of our hard work. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna give you an applicator if you want one. I've got a few. Hopefully, it doesn't have any glue on it. If you need this, okay? So basically what you're doing is um, holding it this side, not this side, okay? And then- No one can see what you're doing, pull it up there. Oh, okay. So guys, this one is, I don't even know what it came with, but there's like a bunch of applicators out there. These ones are the ones that I think come with a pack of like the Ardell lashes. I think that's what this is. It's got a rubber tip on one side and it's got the uh, actual tongs on the other side. I always, so it's you're supposed to hold it like this and apply your lashes. So. You want the rounded part of the of this tongue to be touching your lashes. Does it make sense? Okay, because sometimes, um, and you can use this then, the, the sort of the groovy part, to press the lashes onto because it kind of takes the shape mm, of your okay. eye. Um, I actually like to use the rubber tip part of it because I find it's much easier for me to take a point and then just press on that point if you need to. Oh, okay. um, but if you don't need to and you apply it in one go and it's good to go, you're good to go. This, so the applicator brush is actually very neat to have because it's like an eyeliner brush. So technically, do you know glue is made so that you can actually put this on your lid and then just stick the lash on top of it? I feel like my, I'm not that coordinated. No, so no, very few people are to me. This is where it all ends, friends. <laughs> it doesn't end there. I mean, I'm going to use this one too. Yeah. So remember the shorter hair part goes on the shorter part of your eye. So center, I do center outer corner inner corner. You could do center inner corner outer corner. I'm going to do mascara on my lashes. I'm using um, Legendary Lash from Charlotte Tilbury. Okay. I, I really like these products, which is 
like something that I didn't think I would really like them this much. They're great. And and not just that, I ordered this stuff online and it's free delivery, which is amazing. Um, Where did you order from? Uh, Charlotte Tilbury oh, website. Okay. Yeah. And it's uh, free delivery and uh, it came so nicely packaged. And she, like, there's other things in it. Like, uh, they sent me samples of things. They sent me this beautiful, beautiful, legendary lash sample, and I'm in love with it. I'm definitely gonna order this one. And um, my only, I only want to find a waterproof version of this because it actually is very dark, very thick, and sometimes it runs. My eyes water, so I can't really have that. Um, but like, I love the brown packaging with the gold, and oh, I'm so beautiful. So happy to see it. So, are, do you have both on? Oh, are you taking a moment? Do you want me to, do you want me to, like, do you want me to put the other one on you? I'll try one more time. Alright, go no. for it. Lipstick time? Yeah! Alright, done. So, Face. we're done, guys. Oh, let's use the finishing spray from Skinnavia and spray it. We can do lipstick without liners or lipstick with liner. What do you prefer? I don't use liner ever. Well, then you go straight into lipstick. You know what? Sometimes I actually do liner past my lipstick too. To oh, make it look better. Just to overline slightly, so which I'll do after. So we're going to use some of the fall uh, lip colors that I have here from Estee Lauder. Um, this one's called... Funky Diva Sheen, and this is called Group Shimmer. So, let's see. And I also have two. I've got Oh My Shimmer and Sugar Maple. Yay. And then I'm gonna do the center of my lip to give it dimension with the lighter color. Yeah. Okay. We're, gonna, we're gonna make some kissy faces, so go like this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so guys, let us know what you felt about or what you thought about this video. Um, Jess and I are doing makeup together for the first time on screen and uh, we just wanted to sit together and do this because it's fun. <laughs> That's really it. And we get to spend some time together doing what I love to do which is makeup and kind of what she likes to do with Mr. Canon <laughs> and take pictures and videos. Um, we're going to post a picture uh, of this on each of our Instagram pages, so don't forget to find us there. It's uh, Radiant by Rada, Jessica Holman Photography, similarly on our YouTube channels as well. It would be great to see you there. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye. Ciao!